mass hallucinations is not a thing. It doesn't happen that way. The conditions for hallucination for an individual are so incredibly intense and with so much detail that you really cannot bring together a mass hallucination. And it's hallucinations invariably are also something that is placed alongside desires. No one really I expected Jesus to rise from the dead. I mean, they were told repeatedly, but they did not understand what they were saying. You know, they were depressed and they went on. But here's the thing. When the Bible speaks about the resurrection of Jesus Christ, it does not speak about the resurrection of Jesus Christ as merely a spiritual phenomena. It does not speak of his resurrection as an abstract idea, but Jesus bodily rose. And Paul tells you in uh, in his letter to the Corinthian church, at one point he appeared to close to 500 people. You know, he appeared to the disciples. He told them, come on, touch my hand. See, here's where the nails were pierced. Touch my side. This is where the spear went through my side. He gave them physical evidence of himself. He ate with them. These are not things that you could put under the category of hallucination. The bodily resurrection of Jesus Christ and the accounts that detail his bodily resurrection doesn't quite allow for us to take hallucination theories very seriously.